supposed to mean? Really, it's like, remember when Jim Gaffigan was everything to us? Like, I mean, every special. He had like two or three that came out that were just like, we. Were, I couldn't go anywhere without saying one of, like half of his bit. Hot half his whole comedy thing, yeah. That was the only one that I was like Hot obsessed pockets. with. Yeah. So good. I mean, he's had some great other specials, but that was the one where he was huge. And that was when we saw him. Uh, did you see him? Yeah. Yeah, we saw Florida him State for Tallahassee. free. Yeah. Oh, you did? Nice. Yeah, it was our, he was our homecoming saw, comedian one year. We saw Weezer. Weezer. Oh, I saw Ludacris. Uh, yeah, Pharrell came out with... I saw um, Sean Kingston. No, it was... Uh, Waka Flocka. No, there was the, the other guy. Shoot, I can't remember his name right now. Jermaine Flocka Dupree. Waka? <laughs> Jermaine Dupree, the song I Can't Stop Yeah, Party. Jermaine Dupree, that yeah. was who came out And Haley Williams from Paramore Yeah. Oh, Haley came out too? Oh, dang, man You guys had great shows I d- Well, that was all that was the Weezer like, show That was all the Weezer show That was all just the Weezer yeah, show they It came was out Jermaine Dupree, them. Haley Williams, and Weezer And then Damn. the year before it was Ludacris and Waka Flaga. Dude, Weezer's coming here Like in October or September I gotta go Yeah, I gotta Dude, go. They, I'd love to go see Zach Bryan But the tickets are like 400 bucks a yeah. pop it's up. Well, it's up at the Hard Rock, mm-hmm. so I should see what I can. What I want to go do. watch Morgan Wallen fight chairs. <laughs> He's one and zero in chair. Dude, uh, that guy is brain dead. <laughs> Have you ever seen Broadway? Have you ever seen pictures of Broadway in no, Nashville? No. It's like a sea of people, and this jackass throws a fucking chair off of a oh, balcony, like a fourth I floor threw a yeah. chair across. And it's like not the, it's not like the first time he's done it. Like no. they knew they're like chair just flew out of balcony a four. So go get Morgan. So go, go get him. He's up there again because they like they arrested him really quickly. Like, so funny. That they're guy. like, where'd it happen? What happened? Oh, it's up there. Okay, we're gone. Yeah. He, was, he was in jail like in half an hour. The yeah. guy that made the remix. It's so hmm. funny. Yeah, that video that you sent us. Oh, what was it? Who's who's it by? I can't uh, remember. Uh, Some guy on Instagram. Yeah, or TikTok. I think TikTok. I think it's I think it's I think it's a TikTok. Tickety TikTok. Which I actually haven't been keeping up with. Like, what's going on with the whole? Legal battle of. We're just gonna force them to not be owned by a Chinese company anymore. (laughs) I think Pepsi should buy them, and then we can we can get back in the old. I think Sunny D should buy them. His name Sunny D should buy them (laughs) because they're delicious, nutritious. No, (laughs) no, not that, not that kind. It's only ninety five calories. Not that kind. (laughs) That's your opinion. If that's your medical advice. If if. If rubbing alcohol treat outside boo boo, does yeah. drinking alcohol treat inside boo boo? Treats the inside <laughs> boo boos. And you got what I, that's what I say every that's what I say every episode though. This is nostalgia in a can. <laughs> it's absolutely just reminding me of my you know, the, the days when like we used to have to you ever clip coupons and we were like, trying to figure out how many Pop Tarts, how many boxes of Pop Tarts we can get for like a dollar off each. <laughs> no. It's like that's when Sunny D came along. <laughs> I had friends. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, you had friends that had Pop Tarts? <laughs> Ouch. His name's Joe Stan forty four. That's the guy's name that did the remix. Joe Stan forty four, man. man. Okay. Well we got I we need to post that up. I got to get better with our social. I've just been posting like very minimally, and I gotta, I gotta re. re- He's one and zero in chair fights. So. <laughs> one and zero in chair fights. That's a great. That's a great stat. A we'll one. see what the what the what Johnny Law brings. He might be zero and one. Yeah. Long oh run. man, yeah. Well, he, he still he beat might, the, he still beat the chair. He might get told to uh, still one. He might get told to stand in the pocket like Matt Holiday and Justin <laughs> Gaethje. Do you yeah. see that UFC three hundred? No. It's like, no. come on. Like, right at the end of the fight, he's like, come on, right here. Like, stand in the pocket. Let's fight. And uh, he just knocks him out. <laughs> like, the guy who's like, stand right here, knocks the other guy out. Like, really? Uh, yeah. It was, it was a brutal. It was That's awesome. awesome yeah. The highlight is fantastic. It's, second, uh, it's the second time he's done it, too. He did it to another fighter where they're like, you know, yeah. fighting all around. Dude, and at the end, he's like, right here. Like, get in the get in here. Let's throw down. Dude. Well, you know, those dudes have been hit around a lot. Dude. A lot, and, and so and they're, they're good at following directions because they got coaches and stuff. And so when somebody says, "Come well, not, here, stand right here," they're not like, only oh, okay. that, it's like you're taunting me. Let's do this, Let's and then go. I'll be rocking. Oh, shit, yeah, oh, shouldn't have done that, huh? Mm-hmm. Damn it. Well, well speak, I saw the Rock. I saw you the saw Rock him? came back and was oh, doing. Yeah, like he's a, been back. He's the, you, he's the main bad guy, and he calls himself the final boss. Oh. He's like the super bad. Yes. Oh, that's a great movie. Good Love pun. Mm-hmm. Great one. Super bad. Yeah. All right. Oh, uh, bring us in, Tyler. How are you? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Nostalgia Land. I'm Tyler. I'm Matt. Tra- I'm Trey. Hey, Trey. Nice. You want to go this way? Or go that I way? don't know. <laughs> I wasn't sure which way we were going. Happy to be back for another episode and have you guys watching. Um, 
I'm just gonna keep just this up enjoying our sunny D's. Mm. I can't mm. get my mind off of it. It's I just tradition. Can't think right now. This is now tradition. I think now, all I have in my brain is, is that, orange and sugar. Is that how long? Is that how long <laughs> it takes vodka. to make something tradition? Three just times. Three times. <laughs> I think we've done at I think least it's four. four times. I think we've done uh, four. Yeah, I wasn't here for the for the first time. That's I don't think. You, yeah, that's no, true. Think, yeah, this is my third one back. Because I, I think I did. I brought him in on one time when it was just you and me, and he was okay, he was yeah. allowed with the baby. I think I brought him in, but he wasn't allowed with the baby. <laughs> no, no, no. He, he was still out with the baby. Uh, I was like, wow. That, I <laughs> mean, a little, geez. you had a baby, you're out. Yeah, you're done. <laughs> we, Sorry. You hey, know what? Sell I had two, but mm. <laughs> <laughs> he just made me think of that. Uh, that funny ass commercial from back in the day. Like, remember how we used to do it? Like. Uh, you have a collect call from Bob. Uh, we had a baby. It's a boy. <laughs> Actually, I use Who's that. that. It's Bob. It's had a baby. It's I, a use, I use that in my in my design uh, work. I put C O L L E C T. Whenever I need a phone number, I put that in there. <laughs> and it's funny just because that's strictly our country. So a lot of the dev guys who who work all overseas and stuff, they don't get it. Yeah. But then like the one or two like content writers who who work with me on stage, they're like, "Is that the collect number?" And they're like, "Do you remember scamming the collect number? That's what <laughs> sent them out of business. That's was funny. that was that commercial? It that, put them no out of way. business. That and <laughs> cell phones. Yeah, and then." <laughs> cell phones get around and the pay phones now an ancient relic dude you ever seen have you seen one like hanging around you're like ew what is that uh, there's one in the movie that we're doing there is. <laughs> that's funny because there's a uh, that song by billy ray cyrus or no is it travis tritt here's a quarter call someone oh, who cares yeah. it's like a <laughs> whole generation yeah. two generations yeah. of people have no idea yeah. what the hell he's talking about what's a quarter yeah <laughs> What's he, it's true. Do you mean my Venmo? Yeah, what, what can you Venmo buy? Me? Can you buy anything with a quarter these days? <laughs> gumball. I it's doubt you it. can. It's yeah. probably 50 cents. What's the inflation on gumballs these days? <laughs> it's 50. I bet it's 50. Yeah. It's like a, they got to pay for shipping now and all that stuff. It's a 100% increase. <laughs> Yeah, it's, they're doubling the money on everywhere. Thanks. Oh, man. So, yeah, welcome back, and uh, thanks for joining us today. We're, at, we're answering the question, uh, do your household appliances have feelings, and have they tried to trek across the wilderness to find you and be subservient to you <laughs> as the master? Short answer, yes. <laughs> Go pet your toaster. It's the brave little <laughs> toaster from 1987. John Lovett. Yeah, actually, I, I want to call it a Toy Story prequel. Um, yeah, because before Pic- cause Pixar didn't exist, so is this, was yeah. this a prequel to that universe? I really, yes, it was because John Lasseter and a bunch of the guys who basically went to make Pixar were in this movie. Well, like they worked on it, right. yeah. And there's a big problem with it. I'm sure you got a lot of info on it. Where, did you did you read up on on the relationship between this movie and like John Lasseter, the Pixar people, and and all that studio? Well, it was the movie that like nobody really wanted to, wanted to make, mm. and and they kept like, okay, is it going to be like a straight to home thing is it going to be in the theaters and like people kept buying into it and then like they were like whoa this gets really dark and like kind of goes yeah, off creepy it goes off into a creepy realm it's not really this they were really unsure about it and then they were like the marketing of it and then the music wasn't quite straightened out but there's pixar like that a1113 all over it. it's john laster's baby he he originally did like a storyboard for it like back in the 70s i think late 70s when he was at cal arts Mm -hmm. and um the other part of it too was the uh when when they finally got it done they were like we don't know where to go and like no one really had bought rights of it (laughs) so it kind of became like a cult classic and the disney picked it up yeah and they just and they showed it on disney channel like one of it was like one of their first movies okay but yeah there's a lot in this movie that i was like i didn't remember that and then it it felt a little icky (laughs) in some this movie has so many terrifying Bads yes. in it. Yeah, this probably has the creepiest Disney villain of all time. I will yeah. say, yeah, dude. And Every it, single video I watch, talk, they all talk about the firefighter. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah, the firefighter. Climate. You mean you mean Pennywise, the firefighter? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, it's, it's, a, it's a crazy villain. He doesn't, and he's only he has like less than ten seconds of screen yes. time. Yeah. And you and know you have line. to be creepy to make like people's top ten lists. <laughs> You're <laughs> only in like ten seconds yeah. of a movie. I felt, it was like a fever dream when I rewatched it. Exactly and I, and what I it was. Completely forgot exactly. <laughs> it, was. it was a fever dream. You're right. Mm-hmm. It was it was heat too because it was the toaster's <laughs> dream. <Yeah. laughs> but anyway, so these toast. It's a toaster, a baby blanket, or or, or it's a like a thermal heated, blanket. Yeah, it's like a heated little blanket. Yeah, yeah. but he's like it's it's like a toddler it's either, baby. It's either a heated blanket thing. or like one of those blankets that you give like a newborn that has like a like a toy 
attached oh, to it. But I think it's a, a heated no, blanket. It's a heated, because it's a heated else, one. Why else would it have a plug? Okay, yeah. And then it's a lamp, a radio, f- voiced by John Lovitz, <laughs> who I think is like the only uh, credited name. Uh, and, in a, this. and a vacuum cleaner. And a vacuum Phil, cleaner. Phil Hartman. Yeah, Phil, Phil Hartman. Hartman's Phil Hartman's in, in it a couple times. One. Uh, well, yeah. yeah. He's the air, he's the he's air the conditioning the AC unit. Yeah. He's the air conditioning unit. And then he's later on, he's the lamp that comes down when they're in the repair shop. The oh, one that's that has creepy. The creepy too. A face. Yeah. Look, though, it, which was an actual guy. If you look up that actor who that's based on, he actually looked like that. Yeah, well, um, yeah. I forget his name. Oh, Disney does that again. Who? They do what? it with the genie. Oh, like yes, that yes, voice, yes. the genie does it. I don't like doing yeah. it. Yeah. I can't bring people back from, <laughs> from the, the dead. dead. That sucks. That guy's name is like right on the tip of my tongue. Oh, man. Well, they'll look it up for me. So basically, they go, they have, they have a kid. And they live in a cabin no, in the middle of the woods. Wait, 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 wait. Or they have a kid that he loves. <laughs> they, they belong to They a belong kid. to a yeah. family <laughs> who have, have a kid. These appliances have a child. Why am I saying this in such a weird way? Anyways, know. okay. So they have a kid that they <laughs> enjoy. A person. No way. Wow. Hold on. You can't say that. <laughs> this is getting weirder by it the got, moment. It got worse. <laughs> I didn't see a, that coming. Take a slight commercial <laughs> break. Spiral. Sunny D, vodka <laughs> seltzers, absolutely delicious. Anyways, um, they call him the master. Yeah. Um, in that, I was just, ah, I Are was, we going to be bitches? I, I'm a little, yeah. I, He's, they're appliances. He's but, their master. They, but they could have called it by his name. Why did that, like, they kept putting it in the I don't know his name. Like, and I and also, it was 87. Nobody cared. The master. I don't, Anyways, I yeah. don't know his name, and I watched the movie. Yeah. <laughs> It's because you don't. They don't give him a name. It's just the master. It's just uh, the master. And it's I like nowadays even... you can't. You call the, call the the master bedroom the master bedroom anymore. Well, they changed the name of that because of the word master. He, he okay, his his name is Rob. It is Rob. Oh, that's right. They do call him a name. The mom the and the girlfriend, does. played yeah. by Wayne Katz. But to all these appliances, no, he's the master. Yeah, yeah. but. They don't, he didn't write oh. his name on all the appliances backwards like yeah. Andy did. <laughs> like That's Andy how he did. Know, That's know. how he screwed just up. one letter? Yeah, it was just the D. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was it the D or was it the N? I don't know, but he walked right into that one. That was I awesome. He did walk into that one. <laughs> I think it was the N is backwards. I think it was the N. <laughs> so anyways, uh, so they're lonely. They're living in this cabin, and they suddenly decide, one day we're going to go on a wild adventure to go find him. Yeah, because for three years, he hasn't come back. Yeah. The, They've the, been doing... Which apparently your vacuum cleaner vacuums your house and when you're not around. And apparently your vacuum cleaner. <laughs> apparently your vacuum cleaner is a grumpy a hole. Yeah, <laughs> and he's a Kirby vacuum. In the in the original novel, he was a, a Hoover. But oh God, yeah, Kirby's couldn't get the rights. I don't know if it was like a licensing thing with Hoover, but Kirby's a better name they than could, calling him a Hoover. They yeah, could but, get the rights to clean though, the K L E E N, which mm-hmm. is like an appliance brand. And I was just like, what are we shopping yeah, Kirby, here for? Kirby's also a, a little mm. pink guy that eats everything. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. yeah that was a, good, there was a different kind of Kirby yeah. though. I think. <laughs> good, good, good character. Well, he, he could become a vacuum <laughs> in a second. Yeah. In a second. I I love the design of of these characters though. Yeah. Um. And yeah. it's so funny how like all of us have the same uh opinion of it when you look back on it that like. There's so many terrifying characters. The clown is just the most terrifying. Yeah. Dude, the lamp in the 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 lamp in the, the junk shop the is freaking creepy. Magnet yeah, at the end, uh, like oh my god, dude! Oh lord, magnet has a vendetta. Dude, <laughs> yeah. that magnet is a murderer. Although, although I have a, a an opinion on that. Uh, okay, but, so they're. Well, we should go through the plot of the movie. Well, no? we'll get there. We'll yeah. just jump around, talk about what we it's, like. It's a there and back. They didn't have to go anywhere kind of plot. That's it. That's well, they, it. Didn't That's that. they didn't yeah. know that. They didn't know that. They didn't know that, but it's the Hobbit. It's, it's, there, it's, it's there and the back Hobbit. again, okay? Well, in fact, we'll just play this the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. That's, that's one of the races. The toaster okay. wakes up. <laughs> Since we have the side quest music already playing, let okay. me let me just say... Does it not bother anybody else that those damn eagles could have just dropped them off at Mordor <laughs> and they could have left the, the ring in the hole and been done with it? Nobody was a good enough shot. I get. Well, no, they could have just like, oh, there you go. Like, well, they're on the done. thing. They could have just put it, it in there. Plop. And they, I really feel it. And it's funny is that since we mentioned The Hobbit, this always sits next to me oh, right yeah. here. This is just like my comforting piece. Like that we got to right get here. you The Lord of the Rings because it's so much better. We got those. The they got the whole no, no. box set down over there. Right, right, let's switch them out. That's, let's switch those out. <laughs> One day. Here. No, we can leave them. <laughs> I can't reach you. Okay. Yeah, I remember when these came out, and I was so stoked to get all the box sets and then just sit and watch. This takes 13 hours to get through all and of The that. deleted scenes are, like, the best part. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, the mouth of Sauron. Yeah. 
That is like oh. that is like the Heads up. Co- the one coolest of gonna fall out of the back. ever cut scene ever. Yeah. Have you seen the one where he has a regular voice? It's so it's not as good. And weird. <laughs> He's like, my master bids you welcome. And he's like, he. It's like when you uh, when you hear Darth Vader, but done by the original guy. Oh yeah. When they were recording on set. Doesn't doesn't have doesn't have as much presence. Doesn't no. have the gravitas. Yeah. No, the, I'm your Jim, father. Yeah. As the Jimmy Early Jones. Yeah. yeah doesn't like, doesn't got it. No. Yeah. But uh, what I was gonna say about the the magnet, like, their appliances. They're they're doing their. Jo- he's just doing his job. He doesn't see it. As murder, he mur- but he's his job is to pick up the things and put on the conveyor belt. Pick Gosh, up the things dude, and put no. on the conveyor belt. Not the human. And <laughs> then when the, when the when the the main characters get stuck to it and yeah. they they get off, yeah. then he feels like I failed. Unless I get them, I failed. So he starts trying to get them to put them on there. Is it failure or is it because it does feel like he has a vendetta against? Oh no, not these little shits. I'm gonna. <laughs> Throw yeah. these in the crusher. Maybe it is that. Maybe I'm wrong. Because like, okay, because it and in jumping to the end of the movie though, because that scene was it was horrifying in a way that like some of the cars are like, like, please not me, please not me, please not me, and then this thing comes and murders them and, and puts them through the trash compactor. Yeah. Well, that I get, but when the human is attached to, it, oh, yes. you're not supposed to do that. They're not supposed to let them know that you're real. Yeah, it's weirdly not the same rules as Toy Story. Because yeah, if the human was around in Toy yeah. Story, that magnet just falls. Yeah. Well, like man, I thought about this. I was like, this is like all the Toy Stories in one. Mm-hmm. And it's like it's one, it's them, and they love the kid, and they have to get away. They're trying to go find him, make sure he's safe. The second one is like them uh, thinking that they're useless, and so they go off, and like okay, they're in the woods, and they don't think anybody wants them. It's the third one where like now they're thinking, oh, we're gonna have new owners and new people, and they're in the and in, in, and they end up in the junkyard where they're <laughs> almost killed and incinerated. So sad. And the fourth one is them going through the wilderness and finding <laughs> different purposes. And this is all within the brave little toaster. True. It's just like man, they really stretched out four movies. So, yeah. So where do you think five. Toy Story came from? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's the same guy too. That it is. Did, yeah. Yeah, and uh, the the guy who does who plays um, uh, Saint Peter, the electronics guy. Oh yeah, um, okay yeah yeah. So there's the they go. Oh, the dude in the monster truck. Is he in the? Yeah, yes, he has a monster he is truck. In a monster he truck. has a monster yes. truck, and he's got the dog. Yeah, and yes. he's like, and he's like, good. Today was a good day, boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you already buckled yourself in. <laughs> and just <laughs> and just peels ass. Yeah, the guy yeah. who does the the voice for that character. Yeah. Is Sid mm. in Toy Story? Uh, no, does the voice for him too? Really? Yeah, wow. Because apparently, like, he's one of the animators, and uh, they were, you know, when they were working on everything, the director, the animators, they would do the voices because they hadn't cast the voices yet, so oh, they would just nice. eh, play around, and he would do that for Saint Peter. And then when the director was trying to cast it, he was just like, this, there, just "Nobody it. does it better than you do." So <laughs> yeah. just do it. He was like, "No, you're kidding." He's like. No, go ahead. Go be the guy. You're the guy. You, that's your voice. It's perfect. Like Just like when Sid in, in Toy Story was at Pizza Planet, he's like, let's go home and play. play. Oh, man. <laughs> Great voice. Such part. a creepy character, too. He really that is. ain't no happy child. But yeah, they, they're, in the, they're in the cabin in the beginning. They got Phil Hartman, who... <laughs> The poor guy. Basically gives himself a heart attack. Two, yeah, he blows a, <laughs> blows a fuse. Dude. Because he's an air conditioning unit. It's that not my fault. He's not tall enough to it, reach it's like right now. They're, they're all wanting to leave because they feel neglected and they yeah. got to go find their master and so they can feel like they have purpose again. Yeah, we're going to keep, I'm gonna keep yeah, using it through the, the whole thing. show I'm just sorry, to get keep you. Keep going. Okay. And yeah. um, so that, uh, but then you can see he is, he's all of their frustration piled into one unit that he just and he has the one like super inappropriate line to kirby where he's like what are you gonna do suck me to death (laughs) that was it yeah i was like "Hmm." um even the vacuum cleaner was like dude there's a baby blanket here like what are you bro they all do they gang up on that freaking blanket (laughs) well that's where you get the the change of heart for the toaster which i was like yeah that that surprised me too so like they're obsessed with like Getting back to the master and 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 doing like keeping the house, keeping that cabin clean and tidy for them whenever they come back. But like there's, they have no bonded relationship 
Like they all could care less about each other. They're like, it, it's 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 them or nobody else. Like everyone else is just a piece of shit to them. They're like, <laughs> and they all have like their own stories with them and the master. Like, oh, I he used to love listening to me on the radio. Oh, he loved me when I would illuminate the books like the lamp. Oh, he used to like love me on cold nights. And the toaster was like, I made toast. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the butt like. What was the vacuum thing? He's did I sucked. He sucked. <laughs> I was. I really hesitated. Yeah, I was you're going, me up there. I, I, I went dude. from suck to blow. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mega Maid. She's gone oh, from man. suck to blow. Yeah. So they they see a for sale sign in front of the house. So they're yeah. like, "Well, let's go find them." How depressing when they all get super excited because the car pulls up. Oh lord, that and they're looking out me. the window and the car drives off <laughs> and they're just like, "Oh no!" Just the most defeated. <laughs> little voice in that baby blanket like the way he's like like they're all cleaning trying to have a good time john lovett's doing great yeah. which I, I don't know how much of his stuff yeah he, he plays the radio in this movie and i don't know how much of his stuff is ad lib but it feels like a lot of it was just him and a lot of the going the singing yeah. was the actual director because john lovett's was contracted like he was obligated to be at saturday night live oh. so he recorded his lines but the singing was the director oh that's um, crazy man that's a good john lovett's I thought, impression i thought for a while the, the radio had to play by like bumblebee rules in in the transformers <laughs> yeah like he had to because find like he had to find a station to say what he was saying and then when he started making fun of the lamp i was like okay that's out the window <laughs> well like the rules of them too is like they're appliances so they all need electricity like all of them they get around yeah. that the blanket the blanket doesn't really need it but like they're hopping around the house because well, it still functions chance. as a blanket even right. if the heating it's still thing. a blanket yeah yeah none but of like, that makes sense anyway though because <laughs> We're They're trying to never fucking plugged in. Yeah. Well, they have the battery on, they the, do, on but the computer chair. Yeah. Come on. Well, they keep trying. Like <laughs> Everywhere they go, they keep trying to like plug themselves into the wall. Yeah. Like, they plug themselves in the wall, and then they run over here, and they plug themselves in the wall. For a minute. So they're like, they're they're constantly in a motion of life and death. <laughs> like, they're well, and the, and the, their, their plugs keep like changing lengths and like. Yeah. Like, <laughs> from, it's, like, like, it's like a tail. It's three feet. <laughs> it's, it's 40 like, feet. Yeah. It's three feet. Yeah. It's 40 like feet. Like when they're going yeah. over the ravine, and they're all tied <laughs> together. I'm like, no. Oh, yeah. That. The, that's the only one that I'll say kind of makes sense because it's a vacuum and you know your vacuum has like the cord and some <laughs> like true. mom and dad's old vacuum, vacuum it yeah. would pull out of the back and you press the button it would like oh, you had to watch I out because that thing was falling get ass. your feet in front yes. of that because it's taking a nail away. I got hit in the eye by one of those one time nice. oh yeah that's a good yeah. way to lose an eye that's a great uh, that just wow you just brought back a memory actually for me you'll shoot your yeah. eye out you'll shoot vacuum. your eye out yeah <laughs> Um, oh my god dude, so yeah they get so excited they're cleaning the house and the blanket is just like stopping and staring and the toaster is like holy shit he's having a moment like he's what are you like why is it the blanket can hear oh my miles god miles away mm -hmm. and he does that gentle little whisper he, he's like a car because he cares the most yeah and they all freak out <laughs> yeah. and they start looking like okay how do we get out where do we get out and it's gone and depression sets in yeah and they're all super except sad. the vacuum really the vacuum's sad. not sad he's like he's not coming back yeah yeah <laughs> It's the, all really aggressive. The vacuum is incredibly sad. He's just a bitch about it. <laughs> she's taking it out. He's on one of those people. people that can't show they're sad. They just yeah. get angry. Mm. You hate you. Mm. It's okay to talk about your feelings. We want you to so they decide, hey, we're going to leave now. Yeah. <laughs> hey, after Phil Hartman, you're right, has, it, has an air conditioning heart attack. Mm -hmm. He's like, because the kid wasn't tall enough to, to touch turn his, the air on. To yeah. touch his buttons. Let's, yeah, he couldn't touch my knobs. Yeah, so the master eat. couldn't touch <laughs> his so he basically oh, blows God. a fuse and <laughs> couldn't caress me. The, no. Just right. Basically, the equivalent the equivalent of dies. <laughs> yeah, he just dies. He dies. Yeah, <laughs> and the toaster's like pleading with him, "Please don't yeah. stop!" And then he explodes. <laughs> and the toaster's like, "Well." Who wants toast? <laughs> Who wants toast? <laughs> <laughs> but they, they, the the I did think it was pretty interesting how the animators and, and people had to solve for the for these problems because they're like, how are we going to get a toaster, vacuum, blanket, <laughs> lamp, and a radio? Computer chair, wilderness. Yeah. computer chair, and solar battery. Yeah, it was like a car battery, was yeah. it, or something? Yeah, they hooked up to it. They hooked like a, um, like a. Uh, what's that called? Power strip. Thank you. Power strip. Yeah, the, like, power strip. the thing that you put on the floor. You put all plugs in. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell I wasn't one of the appliances. Um, they put a power strip. They hook a power strip up to like a car battery, and they plug in the vacuum. Like the vacuum takes the power. That's yeah. 
But yeah, because like, he's got to pull them. Yeah, but like they don't yeah. need power to like talk to each other, nope. only to like use their intended purpose. Yeah. Like, like the toaster can't make toast, but the radio can still be a radio. <laughs> he can what still the radio. hell is going on? I guess he's got batteries. <laughs> he's not even being a radio. It's just I how think he, he talks. He's just being a dick. <laughs> he's yeah. just, it's, he has an eidetic memory and he's just playing old. And he was in the war, apparently. Yeah, man. This was like in the 80s. This yeah, radio but, station is picking up like the past. <laughs> no, but like the radio said he was in the war. When he was like, when I was in the war, I had uh, survival training. Oh. Oh whatever. yeah, that's, he does. Like, wait, you're not a walkie-talkie. Mm, yeah. He was in somebody's uh, tent before. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure because like these these people <laughs> don't make mistakes. Base. He was in like a bunker. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure like because these people don't make mistakes. I'm sure if like we go and we research deep enough, somebody will find. We'll find out that oh yeah, that specific design mm-hmm. of radio was it's like, like what used, generals would use in their in yeah, their quarter in yeah. World War Two or something <laughs> like that. But John Lovitz is great, just how he the, the the logic behind it. I was like, okay, wait, how do they know which way to go? Because I was like, none of them's a compass, right? And they just started picking out that his radio signal starts finding. Okay, where's the strongest coming from? Oh, it's coming from over that way. Where we go that way? Mm-hmm. And I was like, that's kind of brilliant. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I was impressed because I was I was trying to poke holes in this movie the whole time. Couldn't find it. And I was like, oh, there's one. Okay. How Besides do they the know t- where the master is? The city. There's, they know he's they in the, ci- just the don't? city. Go yeah. to the city. That was, that was one thing that really was bugging me watching this. I'm like, they, these appliances just leave. And yeah. walk. Like, what if they started in the wrong direction? Yeah. I'm confused by this. And if only any of them understood that when you sell a house, you usually have to take your stuff out of it. Yeah. And if they just stay <laughs> still. Maybe they were selling it fully furnished. <sighs> We're ready to go. Yeah, we're ready to As go. As is. Yeah. As is. No, get, yeah, no no look, just sign. Here you go. Which is how most homes are being sold these days. It's like a mystery yeah. box. It's like, sad. like, oh, it could be good. <laughs> or you could have mold in the backsplash. Uh, that's right. Yeah, you're, you, you're screwed. I don't know who's, if, I don't know if, like, if cabin auction sales were really big in the <laughs> 80s, but <laughs> this one might have been one of those. Because, yeah, they, they did they did say like he was, they're selling it and he was only like Rob, the master was only going back for the vacuum cleaner, the radio, the toaster, the baby blanket to take to college yeah, a hipster. and the lamp, which I was like, that baby blanket in college is going to see some terrible things. <laughs> Just terrible. That, that's going to be the worst experience for that baby blanket. It's gonna so maybe awful. maybe he's gonna enjoy it. And a, <laughs> and that, good thing his owner was a hipster yeah. and like didn't want any of his modern stuff. <laughs> like, yeah. And the best part is they they get into the city and then they 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 find a phone book. <laughs> in a phone oh booth. yeah. And they look up his name, and then they ask the streetlight where to go, and the streetlight's like that way. <laughs> <laughs> no, they look up his name. It, it was under T for the <laughs> yeah. last name Master. Master. Yeah. It was under R for Rob Master. And maybe was his it? last name is. Maybe Master. it was Master. Did okay. we ever see um, Rob's dad? No, right. No. I wonder if yeah. his dad's dead. <laughs> Well, that that makes both I, that um, makes both characters for the movies yeah. we'll be doing. <laughs> here's, <laughs> here's what I say about dead dads and kids movies. Kids movies love a dead dad. They do. They, it makes me afraid to be a good father because the good dads are always dead. Always. But if they're kind of a jackass a father who has yeah. a turnaround later on, they get to stay alive hey, right. for the rest of the movie. Toy Story stays true to that. Yes. Andy's dad either not around or dead. I. <laughs> Don't know if he died. I never. He I just never ran off. Explored he that. To yeah. get the milk. That's right. Oh, oh, he got the milk already. Right. Oh. Well, have you started the theories of like that Jesse was Andy's His mom. mom's yeah. toy back in the day, and that's how they know. And he has the girl cowboy hat. Yeah, and he has Jesse's cowboy. Yeah. Oh man, dude, those stories go so deep. I'm sure. I'm sure that backstory's written because that's what a lot of animators and the people who write these movies do. They write that so that the animation guys like you can't give it to an actor. You're giving it to someone who's going to sit behind a computer and they have to find all of that story and all that emotion to put into it, especially when these were hand drawn. Right. You know, that's thousands of hours sitting there drawing the same stupid toaster over and over. Moving and just over a little and, bit. Just a little bit. And the animation in this movie is incredible. It's really, it's solid. And in, in the, the, the songs, what did you guys think? Think of the songs. The one I like song, the first one. There was like three songs. The one song in the in the junkyard at the end is is pretty dark. So good. good. Yeah. yeah. So good. <laughs> What's the name of it again? Like what are they? Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, we'll have to look into that. Yeah. But, uh, I just like <laughs> the little Richard. Yeah. 
stinger in the in the very beginning of the scene. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, like they go off and they start trekking and they go into like the wilderness and they meet like it's like a Disney Wonderland. Like it's a pond with like ducks and frogs and they're all obsessed with them and then just kind of move on. And that was, I guess, my biggest thing of this movie because I was just like, what? happened well the field mice try to steal blanket yeah they yeah. like, are dragging him into the hole he's like help help yeah. <laughs> hey guys <laughs> <laughs> oh. they're like well that's the end of blankie and the toaster the, goes over there like stop it and then there's the super sad scene where the they're playing in all the flowers like all the tulips and then the toaster goes into the woods oh, by yeah. himself oh yeah and there's the one bit of light coming into the woods and right in that there's the one tulip growing up out of the ground yeah and the toaster standing there and the tulip sees his own reflection and starts trying to snuggle the other flower because it doesn't realize that it's itself. It's this whole like weird, poignant, heartbreaking yeah. moment where this flower is like going to be alone forever because toaster leaves. There ain't no other flowers. <laughs> toaster's, like, toaster just... toaster's like, no, nah, it's a reflection. Yeah, he's like, this is creepy, dude. I got to go. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, okay, I'm out. Yeah. You're making me very uncomfortable. The toaster did have some problems. He had some, he had he, like, you thought, at least he's the leader of them and I thought he's like the compassionate one, but there's like the first night out and they're all like trying to figure out how to stay warm and survive or uh, whatever. Yeah. And the blanket's like going up to each one of them like, hey, can I can I hang out with you? And like the lamb's like, fuck no. Get away from me. He goes over the radio and like the radio is like, don't cross the this line. This is my yeah. circle. It's my circle. <laughs> he draws a circle. And then he even goes over to the toaster, which I, I watched this again. I was like, I remember as a kid being like heartbroken for this damn blanket. Yeah. That like the toaster's like, dude, knock it off. Yeah. Like go <laughs> sleep over there. Yeah, it's, it's like what Trey and I were saying in the beginning like the toaster starts out as a, just kind of a dick like the rest of them yeah and very they're all very selfish and very self-absorbed and then the blanket who's kind of childish and and very innocent starts doing things to help the rest of them and and it pitches the tent out of itself because you know oh, the blanket yes, apparently yeah. can grow like three <laughs> times its normal size yeah, it's like the Grinch's heart yeah exactly <laughs> exactly and uh then they're they're underneath the blanket in this tent and yeah. that's when the toaster has this change of heart and starts being really nice to the blanket and like <laughs> and yes. the lamp makes fun of him yeah. for it. He's like, Yo, man, what are you doing being nice to that blanket? And it, like, it, he, we, I was kind of a jerk to him for to no him. reason. Yeah. And then the toaster explains to him, like, Oh, you get like a like a spark and he's like, Yeah, yeah kinda and then yeah. you get everybody's flashback. Like yeah. the lamps is like, Oh, my bulb burned out and he changed it and and then the toaster again is like I made toast. Yeah. <laughs> I made and he toast. ate it. And that jelly yeah, yeah, yeah. looked weird. That and he, he would make, and he would make faces. Weird. He would make faces while I waited for the toast. And then the second he turned around, I was like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> made this creepy weird to look at him. I would be terrified if I turned around and my toaster had a face on it. Yeah. Just like looking at me like, do you like the toast? <laughs> it's good like toast. It? It's good. You but then another? the blanket almost dies. It's just like a hurricane <laughs> out of nowhere. Yeah. yeah. And like the blanket just whoop. Yeah. See ya. And he's like 40 feet off the ground in yeah. a tree. Yeah. And, and they, they can't find him. And then the lamp makes the self sacrifice play. Oh, yeah. Because the battery's ben dying. Ben Franklin himself. Yeah. <laughs> battery's dying. He wraps. Sure. I was like, okay, that's uh, that, again. I was like, this is really creative. Is it, it, it because you're it, the, the battery's dying that they're riding the chair on that yeah. everybody's using. And the lamp. You're blowing up that battery, though, if you get struck by lightning. Yeah. <laughs> what is he? What is he, Thor? A little, like, <laughs> little too many wattage there. But, like, I was, I was, I was reflecting on that. I was like, geez, like, then when blankets up in the, in the tree, in the tree, the vacuum cleaner uses, uses his cord and, like, cord. eats his own yeah. cord, eats his own cord to, like, belay up the tree. <laughs> and it's like, that's really. That's really creative, guys. Like, good job. Like, yeah, all mm-hmm. right, all right. Good job. Those are kids' movies. Let's get and then yeah. freaking Toaster has his nightmare. Oh, dude. Where, yeah. <laughs> where he's making toast, and they leave a piece of toast in the toaster, and it sets it's, on fire. This whole thing is and toast. And the house sets on fire, and then Pennywise the clown is the fire. <laughs> That yeah. comes to save it. It's Why? like the biggest fear for him because like the toast comes out and the kid's all happy. He takes the toast and but he leaves like the other stuck toast. And yeah. It starts the fire and then the smoke that comes out grabs the kid and <laughs> takes him away. <laughs> and it's like oh no. And then 
for out of nowhere starts raining forks. <laughs> yeah. yeah, which is a terrifying <laughs> concept for a toaster. Like giant forks, <laughs> and like it all tridents. ends. It all ends with him falling into a bathtub full of water. Would that be a thank uh, you? Uh, that yes, be, okay. I, I think that I master a, may have had some sad dark say, days. I was gonna say I don't know if I'm allowed to say it on. But would that be a murder suicide? <laughs> it might have been. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I, it is a murder suicide. I think it might have been a murder suicide on that one. Is that a? <laughs> The, the toaster falling into the bathtub. I was like, whoever drew this might have had. Are they okay? We need it's to like check in, on them. It's like in Dumbo when he gets drunk and it starts off like, yeah. Shoot him. Yeah. And then, him. And then it's like, no, yeah. this is bad. And like the weird pink elephants and yeah. like everything's like, the elephants are on parade. There they come. <laughs> like, like, yeah, and I don't like all. it anymore. I don't know. <laughs> But this clown, it could oh, have been yeah. just, it could have been just, oh, there's a fire in the cabin burns down. No, <laughs> they chose this creepy like, ass clown. Well, you know what it is? The the animator's like, you know what I hate? Clowns. You know yeah. what everybody's going to hate after this movie? Clowns. clowns. This clown. <laughs> and firefighters. Because it doesn't scream. <laughs> like, it doesn't scream. It doesn't like, or no. it just slowly rises, smiles, and just goes, run. Yeah. <laughs> And so creepy. And then it lets out that super maniacal laugh. It's Man, the Joker. I didn't even notice the Actually, laugh, it's dude. the Joker. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It haunts you. When dude, you I was fast forwarding because my kid hates clowns for some reason. My older one, I have no Smart. idea where that came from. <laughs> Smart. But maybe it's like, maybe it's repressed memories. Like I passed down this fear of this clown from, it's from 2020 when you had all the creepy clown murder people. Oh, yeah. I can only remember two clowns in all the episodes that we've done. I could be wrong. We've done quite a few in the. Seven eight months we've Batman. been doing this. We have we have done a bit, yeah. And um, the only other one was in Airbud, that trash movie with, <laughs> and he was the biggest piece of garbage. So I mean, Not we got a running, we got a running theme. Yeah, I, I'd be afraid of the Joker. Great shirt, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, that I mean from. From our from our Batman episodes, but yeah, not not Airbud clown. Air Bud yeah, and clown. it's funny because I don't think of the Joker as a clown. I know oh. he is a clown. Yeah, but. I think of him as the Joker. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> he's not. He is he's, a clown, I guess. Yeah, but so. he's 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 the Joker. Yeah, he's the Joker. It's I like separate. You. Yeah. Uh, so he's not going to any kids' parties. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they get to his apartment. Yes. Wait, yeah, we're still wait. in the woods. We're still, yeah. Oh, in the woods, and because we're having these changes of heart. Yeah. For and then these you get characters. to the ravine. That the that's the well, dude. How the, funny is it? The toaster when, has the fear of heights. Well, and they then, come rolling down the thing, yeah. and the 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 the. Vacuum cleaner Kirby is pulling them towards this waterfall, and yeah. he, when he gets to the edge, he just has a complete mental breakdown and starts <laughs> eating his own cord. <laughs> and the and toaster has to stop him, calm him down, and then literally has to walk him back and forth to get the cord out of his mouth. What was this? He lost it. Like, but like, was it just that he's oh he's old? He's having like a senior moment. No, thing, no, they're all like afraid of having, heights. It I've wasn't the heights. Hope. He okay. just lost hope. He yeah. had a nervous breakdown, dude. This, he's like, we're never fine. the master because <laughs> they do the thing where they 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 clothing line themselves together, right? And then the toaster is supposed to catch everything, yeah. And it looks down. And it's like, oh, I'm gonna have my moment now. Yeah, it's my senior moment. <laughs> Well, like I did like there was one joke where they the the vacuum cleaner as it's rolling is sucking up whatever it's rolling over. Oh yeah. And like there's a moment where he has to go empty his bag. And what's yeah. funny is like the everyone kind of turns their back to let him yeah. go relieve himself <laughs> behind private. a tree. And the baby blanket kind of was like, What is he doing? And the toaster's like, No, don't look. Don't look at the back. It's like this appliance, guys. But yeah, so they they all fall, and then that's the except the vacuum, except the vacuum cleaner. And the vacuum has his great turning point moment, and they hold that scene out for a while. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's a few seconds before he suddenly comes, like just launching off that <laughs> yeah. clip and uh, falling into the river he, with and them. And he inflates his bag. Yeah, so they can yeah. ride. Yeah, and that's See, when they end up in really the mud, cool. and you think they're gonna die, and they're sinking into the <laughs> mud and sinking into the mud and sinking into the mud, and that's when Saint Peter comes and pulls them oh! out. Yeah, I was having these flashbacks to Toy Story three, like when they're all careening down towards the flame, yep. and they're all like just giving up. They're just like, just hold my hand. This is it. We had We're a doing run. this together. We're it's going down together. Hands. Yeah, this is shake this and how bake shake and bake in, baby. <laughs> well, my favorite is the toaster where he's like, "That concludes our broadcast day, and any other broadcast days." <laughs> <laughs> Brought to you by <laughs> pork rinds and Bob Dobbs. Yeah, are those pork rinds, Bob Dobbs? <laughs> 
<laughs> Poor Tony was so lost in that episode. Yeah. I don't think he knew what the hell we were talking about. <laughs> Did they have to be pork rinds? Yeah. <laughs> pork rinds. So we were like, oh, man, Trey's not here. He, yeah. do, he does the pork rinds oh, so perfect. Man. Tony's this, like, do they have to be pork rinds? When I reach for Quing Long Ju. The Cadillac. Cadillac prune candies. <laughs> The, the tiny mouse just <laughs> bamboo pole. <laughs> uh, what is it? Uh, dragon foot bamboo pole. <laughs> little mouse, tiny boy, fruit candy. <laughs> oh man! Well, Saint Peter that, takes yeah. him to uh, the the his electronics boutique where he repurposes old parts of appliances into new appliances or yeah. refurbishes appliances. Murder is a big element. He in takes this. him to a haunted house. Yeah, <laughs> he's like dismembers these yes. things. But you know, he's just doing a normal everyday job. <laughs> like, but, no. uh, yeah. but to every child in the world, he is the devil. Yeah. <laughs> he is cutting people up. And it's the way they frame it. it that is. like these and like all the other appliances in the shop are like they know they know the big dirty secret about like the back the back part of that shop is that he like and it's aggressive. Like he puts him in that binder thing mm-hmm. and like spin, the, vice. the vice. He spins the sucker and it clamps on him. And he's just tearing shit out and like the whole like the expressions on the appliances are like we've seen this before yeah he's lucky he went quickly usually he tortures them a little this is the dark days <laughs> these, are the, these are the dark days oh that's like the then you have the head lamp that gives yes. the new that gives lampy his bulb he's like oh i have an extra one here, here take one of mine <laughs> that great peter laurie peter laurie yeah look him up he there looks just like him <laughs> Came finally to Look my head. Up. That was uh, Phil Hartman doing that voice though too again. But it, it it's a great. Well, he yeah, does Peter like Lord, his Jack yeah. Nicholson and uh, impression impression as the AC unit. Yeah, he does. And yeah. it's I, he, it's it's a great testament to actors, especially voicing stuff when they can go from zero to a hundred and it feels natural. Mm. Because that whole rant when he starts like he starts off and he's like he, he like he, you're going back into this. I like being in the wall. It's what I do. It's who I am. He ne- he was he was intolerant. And he's like, yeah. and it's like it's my function, and yeah. then he explodes. Yeah. You're like, okay, that worked, but it was terrifying. The in intensity the builds. Yes, it builds, and it builds naturally. Yeah, Peter Laurie, man, you look him up. I'm going to share it to the camera if I can do it well enough. But I don't know if that'll be in focus. But he he looks very much like the way they draw him. And I remember he was in a couple things like Adam's Family cartoons and. Scooby Doo cartoons mm-hmm. like growing up back in the day with Hanna Barbera, but his voice was just ridiculous. Yeah, it's. I don't it's, like doing it. <laughs> don't, don't like doing it. Not a pretty picture. <laughs> so they escape the. <clears throat> well, they get thrown out. Don't the doesn't the don't the other appliances throw oh, them yeah, out yeah, into they, the dumpster? They throw them out of the haunted house. Oh, don't they? Uh, don't they all rise up and they realize like, oh yeah, there's we're. A lot, and he's a few. Oh yeah, yeah. They, don't they that's, all attack that's him? later on. That's true. Which yeah. there that's is right, jumping ahead. There's a movie out there, and it's from the '80s, early '90s, where like it's called the Brave Little Toaster. It's called the Brave Little Toaster, but it it's like the Brave Little tur- Toaster turdster turdster <laughs> murders everyone. <laughs> have you do, have you seen this where it's like uh-huh. all your all the machinery starts attacking people? In like like lawnmowers are, and it's from the eighties and nineties, and they find out that it was like a couple days. Like they find out after a couple days of it happening that it was a Russian satellite that somehow was controlling all the major appliances the in next, America. It's for the next movie, it was, I don't know. It man. was kind of like a, I think it might have been like a Night of Terror movie, uh, the uh, Crypt Keeper mm-hmm. or Creep Show kind of like Tales film or something crypt. like that. Tales from the Crypt, yeah, one of those, but. This uh, that scene when they start attacking, I was like, "Oh my god, that movie!" That's funny. <laughs> like, yeah, I gotta look I've this never up. Seen that. If anyone out there has knows what I'm, <laughs> the hell I'm talking about, <laughs> please comment, comment like, and subscribe. let me know. <laughs> You're keeping my sanity <laughs> and theirs. If anyone knows what the hell I'm talking about, <laughs> well, this is the thing though. It's like with someone with ADD like me, I, it's like the talent of the, the, the great convincing, where I will convince myself that something exists, yeah. and my wife Even will be it like. Doesn't. It doesn't though, yeah. Matt. It's, it's a Mandela not effect out there, and just like okay, fine. 3D Doritos weren't <laughs> real. That's all right. That's fine. Well, they totally were. were. were totally oh, so you guys are convinced they, of the lie too? Then they became bugles. <laughs> then they became <laughs> bugles. <laughs> <laughs> Spice the bugles. <laughs> so they escape, and they're in. They, and they find the phone book. Yes. And then they oh, find yes. the apartment, and the kid has now left. He's in college. 
Like, and he's yeah, now he, left to go back to the cabin. Yeah, he's to, getting ready to go uh, to college. To pick up all of his old crud. Yeah. yeah. To take to college. He's got a girlfriend. So. And the new appliances know this. <laughs> That's and right. And they let them in. To basically like, no, he's going to take us now. You yeah, yeah. I forget which YouTube video I was watching, but somebody pointed out something very funny and ironic is how like when they're in the, the electronics boutique and they're getting made fun of by all the newer appliances oh, and, yeah, and everything. Yeah. And they're singing the song to them and everything. Uh, the, the main characters have lasted all these yeah. years and oh. they still are working fine and yeah. going and they just need their bulbs changed or the fuses or whatever and they'll still work but all these new appliances that are laughing so hard at them the newer and newer you get the shorter and shorter your lifespan <laughs> becomes Man, because you just yeah. disappear i hadn't thought of that yeah. that's absolutely true because that's, that's still a good toaster I don't Hell know about yeah. that blanket. That blanket's been everywhere. I've been like, I would have looked at that blanket and been like, no, this man's so dirty. How awful would that be at the end of the movie? It feels it's, like it's gross. Yeah, ew. And he leaves. Yeah. He takes all the other Just stuff. Just throws it on the ground. All of it. He's like, well, the vacuum is still useful. <laughs> the radio, he lamp, can, toaster. He turns. He turns on the toaster. And, Lights the lamp, like <laughs> just fire. throws it, and the baby blanket's just like no. Nah. Floats away like one of those Chinese like lanterns. lanterns. Oh, <laughs> and all that's left is the little head. Just yeah. oh, <laughs> the tip, the knob, and then credits. <laughs> In a theater of crying yeah. children. Yeah. Just Ta-da. Ta-da. Hey, spoiler, that doesn't happen. Disney. That was on the. That was on the uh, deleted scenes. But that's in a, that's but in the thirteen-hour box set of the Brave Little Toaster. We're missing out on. In the master's room, they find the old television. Oh, oh yes, the TV is awesome. The old TV that was and in the cabin. He's like an yeah. infomercial. He's like a constant infomercial. Yeah. <laughs> he, well, he, and it's frustrating how like. He kept trying to like warn them and tell them like, "Hey, something's up, and it's not. Oh. We shouldn't be into this. Like, you need to leave." And then they switch him to Spanish. They do that. Toy yes. Story two with Buzz Lightyear. They do. Yeah, it's true. Again, Toy Stories. It's all Toy Story. It's just with better characters because some origin. of the stuff that the toys that the toaster was doing, I was like, "Eh, it's a little far fetched. <laughs> that's a little. That's a little too far." You don't have a posable thumb. Uh, yeah. How are you doing that exactly? What do you? Who's dialing? Exactly? But the the. Rob, the kid, the master. Gets, gets to the cottage and he's like pissed. With a dead dad. And he's pissed because all of his stuff is gone and yeah. the couches have been like flipped over and he's like, somebody <laughs> robbed our cottage mm-hmm. and they took my vacuum <laughs> and my toaster. Dude, this cottage that they hadn't been to for three, <laughs> three years. Three years. Is that what you did yeah. the math? Because they're like 2,000 something days. Something like that. Dude, it's so depressing that they're keeping count. Like, they're just like, it's another day. <laughs> it's funny that the, not here. Right, yeah. the girlfriend is like, you were one lucky kid. And I'm like, why? Because he had a toaster and a lamp? <laughs> <laughs> wow. He had, su- he had a sweet cabin. You I mean had, you had warm bread growing I had, up? I had Holy eat, I had shit, eat my bread soft. <laughs> <laughs> we just used to pull it out of the bag and sit on the road until their parents let us back inside the house. <laughs> that was their Saturdays. I don't know what the years were like. Then you get the moment where he fixes the AC unit. Yeah. Yeah. Brings it back to life and uh, replaces the fuse. And it has, yeah. It has and it finally this. gets touched by the master. <laughs> You didn't have to phrase it like that. Didn't I? But he did. And that's what happened. <laughs> that's um, why you uh, so they go, have me on this show. Yes, that's so why So they go here. back to the Thank city you. and the new appliances, the mother's appliances, have thrown them into the dumpster mm-hmm. outside. Yeah. Yeah. Assholes. And now the, the son, the master, is looking for a place where he can go buy like vintage appliances. Oh, this <laughs> is one of the best and parts. And the TV is like... Hey, have you heard of this junkyard? Like, yeah. You can come here. And he's like, we're looking for a good right deal. Right town, yeah. Like, 30%. These deals are criminal. <laughs> <laughs> like, pointing, like, here. It's a great bit, yeah. And he keeps yeah. walking by there, and walking finally, by there. he's like, hey, have you heard of this weird... The girl. I, no, yeah. but they go to a bunch of places. Yeah. And it, it, prices are too high and all this stuff. And then finally, the girl's like, you ever heard of that weird place? And he's like, a junkyard, yeah. Yeah, sweet. That's where I'm going to go find... My new blanket. That's, that's, that's right. For college. Right for up there. College. Yeah, they just don't make heated blankets like they used they to. Maybe they'll have them in the dumpster. I found this one right next to all the old toilets that people threw out. It's mm. just the porcelain mountain. Delicious. And there's my new blanket. And then we get the junkyard scene where that we talked about where yeah. it's breaking the cars and all of that. And they had a great song. I need to look up that song. And yeah, the, the master finds a picture of himself in the junkyard. 
Uh, oh, yeah, we like, forgot to talk about that, too, at the beginning. With the it. blanket is carrying the picture around. Well, they're, like, fighting in the beginning because it's in the frame. Right. And then, like, a bunch of idiots fighting over it, they break it. <laughs> and that's what kind of sets them fighting with each other so much. And then the blanket, like, kind of, like... It. And the picture. mice try to eat it. That's right. <laughs> he gets pissed at the Dick field heads. mice. I mean, I would too. That's my, why are you eating my picture? <laughs> What's wrong with you, bro? And the mouse is like, what? That's what I'm I do, a mouse, man. bro. I, I, I don't know stuff. what a picture is. <laughs> and then at the end, they all like wave bye to him. They're like, yeah. all right, see ya. <laughs> you yeah. win this round. Yeah. Hey, good one on you. <laughs> have have fun. The 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 song in the Wasted song in, or is something called like that. Worthless. Worthless. Yes. Worthless. It's a great song though. It is. It's it's. It, I mean, I can't hum it for you, but I remember really. This is not bad. This, yeah. is, this is pretty. It's similar. on YouTube. It's good. It's on. Yeah, it is. It is on the YouTube's. Uh, Forty dollars. Forty dollars. Um, no, that's for pizza. pizza. No, that's for pizza. <laughs> Not for but, the toast. Yeah, but there is there's some of these cars. All these cars are alive, just yeah. decaying mm-hmm. on top of each other, just waiting They've for driven this, their last mile. This like what, what the Grim Reaper yeah. of a magnet <laughs> to come and take them to the crusher mm-hmm. and to be like for some of them they're like put me out of my misery. Like a couple of them like they're just like oh thank God take me. Yeah. <laughs> take me. Like one of them singing about going on its last ride and the last ride is the conveyor belt to the crusher. Yes. And, oh yeah. Yeah. It gets dark. This, this man, movie real is dark. real dark. Yeah. yeah. Real dark. And it's funny because I remember thinking as a kid, like, oh, we could, can we watch The Brave Little Toaster? Oh, that's a great movie. And now I'm like, what was the appeal of this fucking movie? Why did I like this? What's I think I like the blanket, the lamp, the radio. Yeah. Beyond that, like, yeah. the toaster's cool most of the time. <laughs> the toaster's cool. <laughs> I do think it's funny how they all have um, faces built into their. It, you know their parts their and anatomy the toaster. yeah yeah the toaster's yeah. face is like <laughs> it just appears it's, it's the reflection yeah. cut out by That's the right. kid it would have been sure. weird if it was like on the top like that was his mouth and he's yeah, just like constantly just forward. like what are you doing <laughs> <are they? laughs> yeah yeah and he's like you're shoving toast in his mouth rather than like in the top of his head i guess <laughs> it was yeah, a little too too much there oh, but we could do it was right <laughs> so he good. finds all of this toast. stuff but they've jumped off the conveyor belt yeah and so the the magnet keeps trying to get him and they keep and playing it, dead and mm-hmm. at the very end the human is on there with them mm-hmm. about to get put in the crusher and the toaster's like okay and jumps in the gears yeah. of the crusher this is my purpose yeah. saves the master's and life so they all he has all of them and he grabs the toaster and he takes it home and then he fixes the toaster. Yeah. Apparently, he's an engineering yeah, major. Yeah. yeah, I was like, well, hold on. He's what is an this absolute kid? beast. Is, I, was, I kind of thought, does he have Asperger's? It's funny because <laughs> the <laughs> savant syndrome. <laughs> savant I mean, he might as well because he had to go back to his place and he's, pick up his old shit. Yes, he was very specific yeah. about the things he wanted. And, he, and then when he fixes stuff, I was like. And he was very upset when things on. weren't where they were supposed to yeah. be. And the way he was like. Like the way he was mugging to the toaster with making his toast and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, this is, this but he fixes the toaster and then they all go to college with him in the back of uh, the, in an open trunk. They're not making it wherever they're supposed to go. Just they're just fall they're out. falling out of that. Especially truck. the blanket. Yeah. It would have been great if like they got to college in the dorm room and the old and the AC unit was there. <laughs> was hey like, guys. Hey guys. He fixed me. And then and then Rob the master gets really into college, a little too much green, and the the AC unit has to blow it out and he just becomes Phil Hartman there just you go. on weed just there you the go. whole time. Be good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I like that. That's a good. That's clever. It's part two. That would have gone part two. That would have been the real college experience. Although, they go to Mars at some. They point. go to Mars at yeah. some point. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the the next one. It's the third one. It's the third. It, they. they yeah. Made, the second one is the brave little toaster to the rescue. They save animals, which yeah, is they, like ninety seven. And they release them, like flipped. Yeah. Overseas, that like so they released the goes to Mars first. <laughs> And then yeah. no here. Here and then, okay. uh rides again is the is the that came out after, but it was supposed to be like the other way around. Yeah, there are some gems in those like like straight to home movies. Like the best one's the third Aladdin movie. Yeah, a lot Aladdin Prince of Thieves. That's it that's exactly King of, King of Thieves. King of Thieves, thank you. Exactly yeah, yeah. the first one that came to my mind. But there are some other ones that that were that were great, like little knockoff ones. Like uh, there's a Bell Beauty and the Beast one I loved as a kid. That was like about Christmas and stuff, and it's still it's a classic in our house now. My girls mm. love it. But it, this this movie, like like you said, it it goes 
It goes really light. This movie's all over the place. Real dark, and then it gets real light again. And it gets real dark, and then it gets like, what's that word? Like where it's it's um, uh, like it's sondering. Like they're they're like questioning their own existence. Like they're looking out and seeing like how <laughs> other things are having alive. an existential crisis. existential yeah. crisis. <laughs> Exactly. Like in the woods with the with the flower, <laughs> like there's so much to unpack in that in in this movie, and it's just you just have to you you have to watch it, you have to you have to witness it because otherwise you wouldn't believe. It's like a badass some of the stuff. Trip. Yeah, I did think about that. I was like, this would be the worst movie, <laughs> the worst movie to like take mushrooms and watch. Like you would never like your whole trip would just be not. Trusting your appliances. Because you'd be doing really well. Like none of them. You'd be doing really well. And then that first nightmare scene would hit. And you'd be like, now yeah. I'm having a bad uh, time. I'm done. I'm, I'm having, having a bad time. I'm having a bad, bad, time. <laughs> bad time. You'd come home and like all your stuff is on the lawn. Like every electronic is out there. Like, <laughs> you're like, honey, what happened? This, this, the clown is not good. The clown's not. He's not getting in our told, house. Told me to run. You see what assholes these newer appliances yeah. are? No flyers here. There's no flyers here. No flyers for this clown. No, not happening. It's just <laughs> not doing it. <laughs> not, <laughs> not doing it. Oh man! <laughs> well, we're we're getting close to the hour mark. Was there anything in this movie that like any any, any last points or, or facts? And do you guys? I I feel like I remember a lot of toys and like McDonald's stuff. Probably yeah. With this, but I couldn't. I don't know. You couldn't really find anything. Do you guys have any? I don't know about McDonald's stuff, but I, I think toys for sure. They yeah. made everything toys back yeah. in the day. When 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 McDonald's was like they were the king of like what's that toy like uh, the, happy the Happy Meal, Meal toys, toys man I feel like kids these days really getting worked over yeah dude they are not only that but like somebody found a Taco Bell receipt like in a library book from like twenty years ago <laughs> yeah. and it was literally like thirty nine cents was like the total for, for like each taco fifteen tacos or something <laughs> like that. And now, like the other day, I, I I got out of work late, so the only thing that was open was fast food, and I'm starving. Well. And I order like one meal, yeah, like, one, and it was like fifteen bucks. Yeah, and it's just like, Ugh. what a kick in the cojones! <laughs> this is, sucks. But it's already late. What are you gonna I'm, do? Right, I'm not making food yeah. for myself. Yeah, I was like, I'm so tired. That's what, what I need like, to eat. Do you remember like the double McDonald days or or the quarter days? What were those? Dude. 29 cent cheese uh, yes. hamburgers and 39 cent cheeseburgers. 29 yes. cent Wednesdays, Wednesdays and Sundays. Dude. Yeah, 29 cent Wednesdays for hamburgers and 39 f- cents on Sundays for cheeseburgers. I wish today Man, was Sunday so I could get a cheeseburger for 39 cents. There you <laughs> go. McDonald's. Thank you. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for remembering that. I need to get you I need to get you a sound bite on that so I can always have that to see I wish today was Sunday. There you go. <laughs> it's an old flash video from like Ebon world the the yeah. rapper's name is he said, what's up everybody my he name is Ty world. my show <laughs> <laughs> dude there are so many a funny ass flashes like the the uh, end of the world the Burger King one oh yeah oh ding fries are done yeah. ding yeah. fries are done Family I guy work at Burger it. King mm-hmm. making mm-hmm. paper mm-hmm. whoppers I wear paper hats. hats would you like an apple pie with that <laughs> would you like an apple pie with that <laughs> ding fries are done ding fries are done ding fries are done don't buffer fries and hot yeah it really hurts bad so skin grass we might need to do an episode of like early 2000s internet oh just, hell yeah it's like the best the yeah. best pre, pre youtube yeah. pre youtube when you had to go to like just random ass <laughs> websites and get a virus like because oh because your buddy was like oh, everything yeah, website. yeah everything took you to like an adult virus like <laughs> Yeah. Any, any yeah. like that took you to an adult virus. <laughs> yeah, it was like, dude, it was like, it was like, oh yeah, I went to watch this like Mickey Mouse short, and now there's naked women all over my computer. There are pop ups, yeah, pop ups everywhere. Pop ups. You're just sitting there, click, 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 yeah, click, 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 click. God, it wasn't. My mom's gonna be home in ten minutes. I was yeah. just trying She's to watch Mickey in Mouse. The door. <laughs> I remember one time pulling the plug on my computer and just be like, Jesus, what was that? Because it was, it wasn't porn. It was like. It was Liar. a dead body or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. It was. It was. I. It was like a guy, like a severed head, or something. it was yeah, horrible. You try to like uh, download a picture. Yeah. You know, four and a half years later, <laughs> it's still Dick coming Dick down Dick the screen. Dick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but apparently the producer wanted to cut the nightmare scene and the and the junkyard scene because one of the cars drives into the crusher on purpose. Oh, he does. Yeah. yeah. It's a little. Hey, 
It's part of life, bro. Yeah, so, but <laughs> apparently they didn't get the memo. No. <laughs> they left all that. They kept it all together. Deleted cool. scenes included. Oh, yeah, dude. Is any other any other facts or anything else you want to say about it? Or just... Not particularly. Um, yeah. It came from a novella that the, the writer had per, uh, published. Oh, really? Yeah, and I think it was like the same year, a couple years before. I can't remember exactly, but... Um, believe this it's 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 tough when i go into like so much backstory because i i start to get them mixed up yeah with other movies that we're doing and yeah. everything but i believe this was the the author that had the a feud with philip k dick another sci-fi author and then unfortunate name. ended up uh phil dick taking his life in the end like later like oh, 2008 geez, really? or something like uh, that yeah now i feel bad for making fun of his name well well, not Philip K. Dick. Oh. It was wasn't the, him. I mean, he's a he's a Looney Tune kind of guy. <laughs> but it was the toaster. Yeah, the toaster. Jeez. Yeah, he he was the car that drove himself into the. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd your Muppet be? Oh man, I wish. They, I honestly, they could just remake this with just Muppets, and I think what would be funny if it was Swedish Chef was the master just walking around like, yeah. who's making a big in the toast and toast and bread and radio and big in the blinky. There you go. <laughs> I think the Swedish Chef would do better as the magnet. <laughs> That's the magnet. You know, pick up the pristy car and put it in. The- yeah, and then when the and when they all jump off the conveyor belt, that's what he would do. Like the. <laughs> that's the thing about the Swedish chef. He's always so happy, and then something goes wrong, yeah. and he's like. <laughs> he pulls out a cannon. That's what happens. And he blows up a theater. That's Swedish Chef 101. Oh, go. man. Well, I think this will do it on this one. So uh, thank you for joining us again. This has been awesome. Uh, I hope you enjoy this on a Friday morning. Again, Brave Little Toaster. They made three of them. Why not give them all a shot? I've yeah. only seen one of them. I've <laughs> only seen one. Uh, tell where you can find us. Yeah, you can find us on uh, nostalgialand.podcast and on most social media platforms. Uh, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, uh, listen to us on Spotify, Apple Music, you know, all the, uh, I mean, uh, iTunes, excuse me, yeah. uh, all the uh, platforms where you can find the podcasts. Uh, check us out on YouTube. Um, you can see us. It's yeah. horrifying, just <laughs> like the clown. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> and, worse. And Run. you can like, subscribe, <laughs> ring that notification bell. Yeah. Uh, Comment. Some comments on there. We got we got we got some comments going. We got some suggestions for for stuff to cover in the future. We'd love to you know make this community and to move forward. We you know giving you guys what you want to hear, not just the the weird and the obscure that we can pull out of our brains and our pasts. We'd yeah. like to make this a community style thing. Yeah. Uh, thanks to all the friends and 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 supporters of the show that reach out and give us advice and thoughts and. Thanks to Sunny D for their delicious vodka seltzer. I really hope they see like a subtle spike in sales, and it's from the thousand, the you couple would, thousand you people. I've had like seven or eight friends reach out to me and be like, "Hey, Sunny D," and I'm like, sunny "Yeah, D, baby. like is it good? Yeah, it yeah. tastes you're like sleep, Sunny D." You're sleeping on it. Dude, there you when, go. I, when I went to go buy these tonight, I didn't have to like cut them out of the packaging to get you them. did it last time because the guy, yeah. <laughs> Well, he no, knew they, you were coming. They knew I was coming. There he was go. like, he shows up every two weeks <laughs> and he comes around. Back corner. So yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. It's, just go get you. Put a few cold ones in there for I'll you. See ya. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Well, yeah, we'll see you next week. Um, check out our, our Shopify. Please. Check out the, the merch that we've got. Uh, we've got some great shirts, uh, some great mugs, some great you know, beer steins with the 90s jazz logos. Um, yeah, but check us out. We appreciate you being here. Uh, Until next time, I'm Matt, Trey, and I'm Tyler, Cowbunga.